is a featherweight bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Rayshon the Slim Reaper Roland. Yo, it's Rayshon Roland, the Slim Reaper. I'm a fighter out of GTA Academy, straight out of Pasadena, California, and my record is 0-1. Honestly, the, um, the first fight was just just a, a breaking point for me. Honestly, like, you know, I learned a lot and um, I learned what to do and not to do at certain moments and, you know, things happen. Um, I felt like I fought a good fight, but it wasn't good enough, obviously. Um, but I needed that. It put me in my place, put me where I needed to be mentally. Um, you know, I got respect for him. I respect anybody that steps in front of me. You know, I don't look past nobody. Um, do I think I go out there and beat him? Yes, I do. But that don't mean, you know, work less or chill or sit back. I take every opponent 100% serious. He likes to stand and in the pocket too long. With me, you're done, 100%. You can't stand in there with a guy like me. I'm a diet, uh, a certain color coming up, you know. Um, it's an old school haircut and it's called a shag. You know, I just I just brought it back. And it's just part of me, I, you know, it's me. I just like being myself. And it's an old school haircut. I seen it in the movie, that's the truth. And um, yeah, and I just ran with it. I was like, hey, I like that haircut. Like, it's part of me. Rayshon Rowland, this is Slim Reaper here, and I am up next. Hey, if y'all came to see a knockout, make some noise for me. Make some noise. It's fight of the night right here. It's fight of the night right here. Hey! Hey, check me out though. Hey, hey, Slim Reaper, some new that's on the mean for dinner, all they ain't know. We'll never play with praying in the winter. That uppercut and left, right, my jab coat in December, I'm making tap. Cause as a man, I just something need gon' remember. Mud brothers, on my soul, I go to work for all my brodies. Heart made just like a lion, our time and now we hungry. Say a prayer for my opponent, he ain't knowing the pain I'm holding, come correct. You see a stumble and bother, we even get on him, no talking, we getting active. Ducky who? Them knockouts is the reason I've been advanced and learned the name. We came to escort him right into his new casket. When I wave on your shoulders, you hop in a different bag. It's not for real. We from the trenches and losses come with the struggle. Lower living made us humble. We dedicated to hustle. Master like his combination land right and that boy gon' crumble. When you're back against the wall, boost buffer. It's time to rumble. Same thing but different day. To that boy, he finna pay. Free the game. There he hit us for my killers in that cage. We here again. Our last fight was welcome to the MMA. Wanna bet? I got a hundred thumb. My brody do his thing. Hey. Hey, pound for pound, we can strike a go to the ground. If he clinch, he getting flipped, it ain't nothing to take him down. A crowd pleaser. When I'm landing these punches, they getting loud. They gon' have to carry you out, boy. Hey, pound for pound, we can strike a go to the ground. If he clinch, he getting flipped, it ain't nothing to take him down. A crowd pleaser. When I'm landing these punches, they getting loud. And if he dies, then he dies. He'll be done by the second round, boy. Accompanied to the cage there by Longbody, the Slim Reaper coming in with a lot of fanfare after losing his debut fight here at Up Next Fighting, where he had Desmond Alvarado in trouble before succumbing to a TKO loss. Yeah, you know, he's got issues with takedowns. If he can avoid being taken down, he's got the striking. He can put on a show. You see Rob Gucci in his corner there, a great Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, so I'm sure he's been working on that facet of his game. We'll see if he's up next tonight. Slim Reaper, young fighter, has a lot of support, 23 years of age, certainly not lacking in the confidence department, inspired to get into fighting by the likes of watching John Bones Jones, looking to take souls is the Slim Reaper. And he's got a lot of success in the past when it comes to kickboxing. Trying to translate that to success in the MMA cage is not always easy, as you mentioned, has been susceptible to the takedown. We'll see if the Slim Reaper has worked on his ground game. Rayshon Rowan taking some last seconds to say a prayer before he steps inside the cage and we wait for his opponent. Rowan has undergone a couple of opponent page, er, changes for this as we take a look at the keys to victory for the Slim Reaper. Yeah, Rayshon Rowan's got to avoid the takedown at all costs. Make this fight a kickboxing match, land the big hands, land the big kicks, and paint a bloody canvas. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Luis Torres. 
The opponent for the Slim Reaper has changed not once, but twice, taking this bout extremely short notice was Luis Torres, who makes his debut. Yeah, they were waiting for some last minute blood work for this young man before the fight was approved. And I guess everything came through because Luis Torres is cocked, locked and ready to go. Step inside the up next fighting cage. You see him fighting out of Icon MMA. We'll see if Luis Torres has something in store for Rayshon Rowan. And we take a look at the fighter notes for Luis Torres. Another fighter of Cheeto Vera. He likes to push the pace as a strong gas tank. This guy, he can go all day. Joined Icon MMA at 16. Now looking for his first amateur victory inside the up next fighting cage. Well, I, I, I know it's a bit cliche, but that MMA mentality of always be ready. You see it more times than not, we see it here. Luis Torres, he's gotta maintain his composure here. You know, it's his first fight, he doesn't wanna overcommit, he doesn't wanna get sloppy. He's gotta keep his punches straight, long, and on target. We'll see if he can score some takedowns and take advantage of the weakness of Rayshon Rowland. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape and how these two match up. Two young fighters, 0-1 for the Slim Reaper again. Had Alvarado in trouble before succumbing on the, his opposition, making his MMA debut. Anything jumping out at you, Jonathan? Slight age difference between these two guys. Roland should have a little bit of a reach advantage. It should be a great fight. Here to set the stage, Adnan Qureshi. The following is a featherweight bout scheduled for three two-minute rounds and is sponsored by At Bad Meds. When the bell rings, your men in charge, George Gallegos, and your judges for this contest, Don Howard, Jackie Dinkin, and Chris Crail. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner from Pasadena, California, representing Gooch Training Academy. He stands five foot 11 inches tall and weighed in at 148.6 pounds. He's coming in with an MMA record of 0 and 1. This is Ray Sean, the Slim Reaper. And introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner from Moreno Valley, California, representing Icon MMA, standing five foot 11 inches tall and weighed in at 156.4 pounds. He is making his mixed martial arts debut. This is Luis Torres. Stage is set. Torres looks like he's got his game face on after taking this fight extremely short notice. Ray Sean Rowland, the Slim Reaper, fighting out of the blue corner in the white, taking on Luis Torres, making his debut in the black. The Slim Reaper's got the it factor. He's got lethal striking. He says he likes to take souls. The one thing he does, he got accompanied the ring by long body a rapper. He's got the showmanship. The only thing he doesn't have thus far is a victory in the MMA cage, and he's feverishly looking for one here. Nice knees and straight punches. Oh, he hit, but now Rayshon Rowland brings the fight to the map, but ends up on bottom as Torres creates a little bit of a scramble here. Luis Torres out of Icon MMA, and perhaps, I, I think, maybe a little too aggressive and hungry there was the Slim Reaper. Now working, uh, we got Torres working out of the guard of Rayshon Rowland and giving his kickboxing pedigree. I gotta think this is not where the Slim Reaper wants to be. No, and it's also worth mentioning that the short notice fight, Torres came in heavy here, a lot heavier than his opponent, Rayshon Rowan, and now you see him establishing that weight with this chest-to-chest -chest pressure here. Fight we weren't sure we were gonna see. We're glad we can bring it to you here at Up Next Fighting. That blood work came in at the last second, and here we go. Slim Reaper and Luis Torres mixing it up. This one's scheduled for three two-minute rounds. You can see already under a minute to go. They fly by. Roland's gotta work his way back to the cage so he can wall walk to get back to his feet. Torres' weight pressure here is absolutely dominating him. Cage control, such an, an aggression, such an important factor in scoring in that 10 points uh, unified MMA scoring system. And uh, just continuing to move forward here, hammer fist, 
by Torres, back to his feet. He's got 20 seconds to work here as this slim reaper can roll and get something going late. Torres looking to measure here. You hear the hammer, and trying to put the hammer down there was Roland looking to change levels, which again, isn't really in the wheelhouse of the Slim Reaper. Now he likes to throw those hands, and as we saw in the first round, he did a good job of chucking them early. Don't worry. It's fake. That's a good Fake bomb. Fake class. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. Tough round to score. Rayshon Roland definitely landed the bigger shots, but Luis Torres with that takedown and that pressure just dominated the cage control. Rayshon Roland came out of his corner at the opening bell like he got shot out of a cannon went right after Luis Torres, tried to ragdoll, ragdoll Torres down to the canvas, and ended up giving up top position for much of the round. And let's take a look at how you score it with your unofficial scorecard, Jonathan. I think Roland landed the more effective strikes, and you know, Torres did get the takedown, but he didn't do much with it, so I have it 10-9 for Roland. There you go. John King scores it, the unofficial scorecard. Of course, the judges it. Cage side might see it differently. A lot of riding time there for Luis Torres, who perhaps used that to get rid of any jitters. Again, got to make the point that this is the debut, the very first time that Luis Torres has stepped into active competition. The second fight in the Rising Stars division for the Slim Reaper. Bell sounds, we are off and running here in round two, scheduled for three. Two minute rounds. TK Talk Henley, Jonathan King here with the call of the action for up next fighting. Oh, body kick there by the Slim Reaper. After moments ago, Torres tried to blitz in. Torres might be running right into a bus saw here. He got clipped a couple times there, Todd. Rowan starting to let go of those hands, and when he does, he makes a mess. Do you expect oh. that? Oh, boy. They caught him low there, and you can see the effects. Rayshon Rowan will be given uh, some time to recover. Official checking with him. But another aggressive start to the round for, for Rayshon Rowan. And that was, I think, our first cup check of the, of the day so far, wasn't it? Ding, ding. So I believe Rowan will have up to five minutes to uh, to recover here should he need it. Certainly frustrated is Rowan again. Things just haven't gone his way thus far early in his career. Made a loss in his, in his debut fight. Finally got some, spent much, much of the first round on the ground, although he may have won the round. That, that remains to be seen. <laughs> now he eats a low blow. Just can't seem to catch a break. I'd like to see him start bouncing on his heels here to try to, you know, Get rid of the pain he's feeling right now. Just walking around is not going to do it. He's got to bounce. Get everything back in its place. The official checking with him, saying you're ready to go. And it looks as if the Slim Reaper has nodded affirmatively. And we are back to action here on Rising Stars Division. Inside leg kick from Torres. Good job by Roland to avoid the body lock there. Torres now comes in swinging wildly, left himself open, but not able to uh, to clip him there was, was the Slim Reaper. Torres has been trying to use that inside leg kick as well. Head kick attempt there by Roland. These two starting to throw. Yeah, Torres is, I mean, Roland's corner is calling for the uppercut, which I do believe would land because Torres leads with his head and he keeps that chin nice and high. An uppercut down the middle would certainly ring the bell. Rayshon Rowland. See if Rowland decides to execute that, given the opportunity. Avoids 
the blitz there of Luis Torres. Rowan looks for a takedown again. This time scores it. Ground and pound. But he got sloppy. He didn't yeah. establish the position. And that enabled the reversal for Torres. In on a single leg, but good job tying up the guillotine to prevent the takedown. A lot of action here in round two that is quickly coming to a close. The sand runs out of that hourglass. Don't worry. It's fake. That's a good Fake bomb. That's a fake glass. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. And we're going to take a look with two rounds in the books. How do you see it so far, Jonathan? I have Rayshon Rowan in control, 2018. Two rounds to none for the Slim Reaper. There you have it. John King scores it, the unofficial scorecard. But uh, Torres tried to get busy with some striking of his own in that second round, some leg kicks. But uh, I like what I saw. After, after the foul, the answer by the Slim Reaper. It looks like, you know, playtime might be over. The body bit. language of Roland looks like he wants to take care of business. A little bit of a mouse going underneath the right eye of Torres. No doubt the result of some of those hammer fists from Rayshon Roland. Third and final round underway. Will Torres find a way to take home the victory in his debut? Will Rayshon Roland even out that record at one and one? Just about a minute and a half will solve that equation. Oh, crisp right hand followed by a left. And again, Rayshon Roland scoring at will here. Nasty straight left by Rowan, looking to double it up. Gotta be careful though. Rowan's got overzealous before. Nice knee there to the body. And another oh. outside trip from Rayshon Rowan. Beautiful. Second consecutive successful takedown. Hammer fist now by Rowan. Bouncing the head of Torres off the canvas. Slim Reaper wasn't able to effectively finish with ground and bound before. Oh, his corner was imploring to throw the knees. Some distance, though, achieved here. And we'll see if the Slim Reaper can keep the pedal of the metal, partner. Yeah, he's breathing out of a wide open mouth now. Definitely both these guys' gas tank running low here in the third round. Got to say, I'm, I'm impressed with the fight as well, though, that Torres is giving. Taking the fight extremely short notice in there with a dynamic fighter who's hungry for his first victory. Both fighters are, in fact. Rowan backing up straight away. He needs to cut angles to avoid those shots. Final seconds of the fight now. Does anybody have some last minute magic? Rowland scores one final shot there in the closing seconds of the fight. Certainly the aggressor in the striking department scored with some takedowns as well. Oh! And uh, certainly spent himself while he was out there. Got, uh, got all worked up there, Jonathan. Losing his guts. Yep, <laughs> literally leaving it all in the cage. Let's take a look back at some of the late action of this fight that went all three rounds. And there you see it. Oh. Whatever he ate after weighing, uh, we're seeing it. But uh, it's just a testament, you know? I mean, you, you get worked up so much on the line, you got emotions going, physically spent. I mean, it, you know, it's a, it's a gut check in there, literally. Yeah, it's absolute exhaustion here from the Slim Reaper. Left it all inside the cage. Excellent job from both these two young fighters. So how do you see it? You know, I, I think Rayshon Rowland uh, walked away with a, a clean sweep here. 
despite getting sick, I have him winning three rounds to none. 30-27, Rayshon, the were Slim you, Reaper. Were you goal. impressed with what you saw out of Rayshon Roland in terms of adding a layer, a layer to his game? You know, scoring a couple takedowns, not being afraid of, of taking this thing to the ground. You know, they talk about the ladder in MMA, and you just saw Rayshon Roland take another step up the ladder. He definitely did a good job of, of, of uh, changing things up from his last fight. He mixed things up and did a great job. Excellent, excellent victory on my scorecard for Rayshon Roland. There you see it, the unofficial scorecard of uh, Jonathan King. And we'll see if that comes to fruition when we make it all official as we await the official decision. Slim Reaper still having some issues in there. But you got to believe we'll certainly be feeling better if he gets his hand raised in victory. We shall see. Ladies and gentlemen, judges Don Howard and Chris Crail have both scored this bout 30-27, while Judge Jackie Dinkin has scored this bout 29-28. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner, Rayshon Rowland! Victory might be the cure that all ails. Schmo standing by. I'm here with your winner, Ray Sean. You just got your first professional victory. What were the words you just shared inside the cage with your opponent? First and foremost, I want to thank God, and I want to thank my opponent, Luis, for uh, stepping up on one day notice. Um, you know that's not easy, um, and I respect that's the young warrior right there. Uh, and I'm just, I just, I'm just grateful. I thank my team. I got a good, I got the best team in the world, best coach in the world, and. Uh, I just want to thank them, thank them, thank everybody for coming out. Thank up next. I'm just a thankful guy, and I think I, 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 I give it all up to God. I wouldn't be here without him. Um, I can barely talk right now. <laughs> That's right. But um, yeah, I'm just thankful, man. And, hey, you get to be the hammer, and you get to be the nail. And um, you know, today I was the hammer. Last fight I was the nail. So uh, we just keep going. And I stay humble, and I keep God, keep God first. That's all I gotta say, thank you so much. Didn't have to ask you any questions. Give it up for your winner! First victory inside the cage!